Okay, so this is the dreaded Honda motor that will start for about 20 seconds and then die. And I'm pretty sure it's not the, uh, it's not this cap. I'm pretty sure it's not this cap. Sometimes if these caps go bad, they don't, whatever, they won't suck, they won't, they won't give. Basically, it's like putting your cover over and you don't have any siphon going, right? So, this one here, what I did is, uh, I barely, I barely stuck it on there. I just basically put it on like that, and it still does the same thing. It'll run for like 20 seconds and then die. Um, I haven't run it completely without the cap because it, it'll kind of spills. Um, I think I'm going to try that first. What I'll do is I'll just put a piece of uh, material over it so the uh, gas doesn't spill out. I'm going to try that first. I was going to take this off, take this fuel line off the carburetor and turn this on. It will flow. It seems to flow fine with the gas cap on it. So it's a little for plucking the carburetor off and sprayed it out with carburetor cleaner. All the jets seem to be fine. It starts right up normally when you put the choke on. On this. And we're going to try and figure it out. Okay, so with the cap on, pretty much I tried it actually with a little rag on top. A little rag on top. Started it up. It ran for the same thing, like 15 seconds. Make sure your fuel's on, of course. This way's on. I've already... Basically, I got a little cup. Got like a half a cup of this. What is this? Eight ounces or something. Uh, it came right. It flowed like uninterrupted. No bubbles, no water, nothing. And so, what I'm thinking is I'm going to clean the fuel inlet line again. And I've done this before. But I want to make sure and do it right. And then when you're putting the choke back on, you have to notice where this little part right here goes. Because this part right here has to activate the choke on the uh, carburetor. So when that thing goes like that, uh, basically it pushes this thing and like that, right? So, and that, you know, kind of goes with the carburetor thing, right? So you got to make sure you have that uh, hooked in there. Otherwise your choke won't work. Okay, so we're taking it apart again. I'm going to take that bowl out clean it again once again it wasn't even dirty before so this one's uh, throwing me for a loop I just okay so there's the whatever needle and the float the float is not saturated there's no holes in it. it doesn't have any fluid in it the bowl is perfectly clean basically and then this little jet here came from inside there it was a little tricky to get out you got to kind of fish it out with a little wire um, and I don't know if you can see, but there's a little hole in it. You got to make sure that hole's good. I've already sprayed the cleaner through it, uh, and it's all good there. And I sprayed it up through there, and it comes out here. Um, yeah, I thought I did this before, kind of thing, but uh, put it back together and try it again. Okay, it's getting windy, guys, but uh, so we got it all back together basically. It fuels on, springs on, and then make sure that when you do the choke, that you can see it. See, it's not even, it's not hooked up right, see? Mine, that, when you close that, you should see that show closed. And, uh, so we have to pull it off to, to, to make sure that that little arm is in the right place. In there, that little silver arm. Uh, so that choke okay, closed. Got it all back together. Got fuel. I'm going to just leave this just a little bit loose anyway, although it's not the problem. Just going to leave it just a little bit loose. Put our choke all the way on. Yep, there it is. Just got that problem, so I'm not sure what it is. That one, it, it actually ran for about a minute, and then uh, and died. Put the choke on. Try it again. It's 
got plenty of oil. Choke on. So this sat in the carport. It usually was a one or two pull start um, up until about six months ago. does and it's not the it's not the gas because uh comes out of here freely when i take that loose so i'm not sure what it is if you got any comments please uh make a comment appreciate it thanks